Hello! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a catalog using InDesign Data Merge. Data Merge is an InDesign feature that allows you to automatically transfer specific information from a spreadsheet to an InDesign document. In this video, you will learn how to import images using Data Merge, how to paginate multiple records on a page, the Data Merge limitations. Today, we'll create a catalog of cars. To help you learn and practice data merge, download this template at pagination.com slash data merge for free. Everything is ready. Let's get started. In order to use data merge for InDesign, we need a data file in CSV, comma separated values, or TXT, tab delimited text file, a properly set up InDesign file, and a folder with all the images we need. Having a folder is not necessary, but it is helpful to have a more organized project. Preparing the data source. The first thing I need to do is prepare the data source. To do so, you can use the tool you prefer, like Excel, Numbers, LibreOffice, Google Spreadsheet, or even a text editor. I'll be using Excel. Open a blank spreadsheet and use the first row to define the fields you need. I already have mine ready. Be sure to Insert one field per column, and make sure to never duplicate the field name. Image fields should be defined with the at symbol prefix, for example, at image. The at symbol is a special character in Excel, so add an apostrophe before it if you're presented with an error, for example, apostrophe at image. The apostrophe will force the cell's entire content to be considered as text. When all of the fields have been defined, the next step is to populate the table with your records. Make sure all image paths match your file system. I suggest keeping the images in the same folder as the InDesign file and data file. I stored my images in a subfolder to have the project more organized. I'm using a PC, so the correct way to point at my picture is dot backslash images. That is the name of the folder. Backslash the name of the file including the extension. If you have your images stored somewhere else, you will need to insert the whole path of the files. Now our data file is ready. To use InDesign Data Merge, I'm forced to export in CSV, comma separated values, or TXT, tab separated values format. Creating a CSV or TXT file each time you want to update your document is tedious and could be prone to errors. When you save the CSV or the TXT, a small distraction is enough to trick you into editing the wrong file instead of the original data file. If you want to use only one data source file, Excel, XML, etc., try the solution provided by pagination.com. Let's go back to where we left off. I will export both CSV and TXT files. I click File, Save As, and I select CSV UTF-8 or TXT tab delimited files. Now we can close the spreadsheet and open InDesign. Setting up the data merge panel. I have my document already set up with my layout and text settings. In this document, every car has been laid out using the same product template. If you need multiple product templates in your publications, InDesign data merge doesn't suit you. A more powerful database publishing tool is needed. Take a look at the features you can enable with pagination.com. To set up the data merge panel, go to Window, Utilities, Data Merge. In the panel, click on the menu and then click Select Data Source. In the new window, choose your CSV or TXT file and click Open. You can also change the import options. So before clicking Open, check the Show Import Options box. Now, click Open and take a look at the new dialog box that appears. The window already shows the right settings based on your data source properties. Remember, you can change these options in this box to match your situation. Delimiter. Choose comma if you saved your data source as a CSV file. Choose tab if you saved your data source as a TXT file. Encoding. Choose whether the file uses ASCII or Unicode encoding. Pay attention to the choice of the encoding. 
If you open a file that uses ASCII encoding with Unicode, the Data Merge panel won't be populated with any fields. If you open a file that uses Unicode encoding with ASCII, the file will be imported, but some of its characters may not appear correctly. Platform. Choose PC or Mac, depending on your device. Preserve spaces in data source. Check this box if you want to keep all the extra spaces within your fields. Click OK. The Data Merge panel will now fill with all of the fields from your source file. InDesign can identify two types of field, text and image. InDesign will recognize as image fields the ones we set with the at symbol as a prefix. Mapping the fields. Now it's time to map each field within your desired layout. Each of your data source records will follow this mapping during the subsequent automatic pagination process. Text fields are inserted by creating a text frame, positioning the cursor in the text frame, and then clicking on the selected text field in the Data Merge panel. If you have the layout already prepared, you can select the text you want to replace with the Data Merge placeholder, and then click the name of the field in the Data Merge panel. Image fields are inserted by creating a box with the Rectangle Frame tool, selecting that box and then clicking on the selected image field in the Data Merge panel. You can also insert the fields in the layout by choosing the field in the Data Merge panel and dragging it into the chosen frame. Fields that are successfully mapped will look like this. Numbers will also appear next to each field in the Data Merge panel. These numbers reference the page number on which each field is mapped. If you check the Preview option, you will see a preview of the data merge. The arrows allow us to go through every record. To exit the preview, just click on Preview again. Creating the merged document. Now that all placeholders have been positioned and formatted, we can finally create the merged document. Click on Create Merged Document in the Data Merge panel. Let's take a look at this panel. We see a lot of options in the first tab called Records. Records to Merge. This is where we choose whether to paginate one record or multiple records of the dataset. Records per document page. Here we choose whether to have one or multiple records on every page of the document. For our catalog, we'll opt to merge all records and have multiple records per document page. We'll also choose to generate an overset text report and set up an alert for missing images. These options can help us to identify issues that may occur during the document creation process. Now I'll move to the second tab that is called Multiple Record Layout. This is where we establish how the records will be laid out during the merging process. Here we find Margins. The Data Merge tool works in accordance with page margins. This means that a record that's too big to fit within a page's margins will be automatically placed on the next page. Layout of Records. Records can be paginated using one of these two directions, rows first or columns first. Rows first merges records left to right and then top to bottom. Columns first merges records top to bottom and then left to right. Spacing. The distance between each record is defined by the two spacing options, between columns and between rows. Setting both options to zero will cause the records to appear attached in the final result. For our example catalog, we'll choose a rows first arrangement and one millimeter of space between both the columns and rows. The last tab is called Options. This is where we configure a few remaining choices. Image placement. There are five options for placing images during the merge. Fit images proportionally. Fit the image inside the rectangle frame toolbox and maintain its proportions. Fit images to frames. Fit the image width and height to the rectangle frame toolbox width and height. Proportions will not be kept. Fit frames to images. Import the image with its original size and fit the frame to this size. Preserve frame and image sizes. Import image with its original size, but do not fit the frame to this size. Fill frame proportionally. Increase image size proportionally until it has filled the entire frame.
We'll select Fit Images proportionately and also select Center in Frame and Link Images. Now I'll click OK and InDesign will create a new document with all the records merged. And voila, it's done! As I showed you, InDesign Data Merge can save a lot of time in producing repetitive documents, but it has some big limits such as you can publish one record at a time. It's not possible to group records or items together. For example, if I have more cars from the same manufacturer or more color options for the same model, I can't group them using the InDesign Data Merge. You can only use one product template. Every record must be paginated with the same template. It's not possible to have multiple product templates in the same document. The product template you designed is fixed in terms of height and width. For this reason, you cannot insert a text that is longer than the text frame you chose. You cannot do conditional formatting. Imagine that you have different product categories for this catalog. For example, a motorbike and rally car section, and you want product names to be blue for the motorbike category and green for the rally car category. You would like InDesign to look up the category name and, based on this information, change the color. Data Merge cannot do that. If you are creating a complex document such as a catalog, a price list, or a brochure that requires more advanced features, I suggest you take a look at Pagination.com, the cloud database publishing service that allows you to create data-driven PDF and InDesign files in a jiffy.